The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number twelve, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August eighteenth, nineteen seventy three, in London, England. Translation Never was there a time when I did not exist, nor you, nor all these kings, nor in future shall any of us cease to be. This is very important for us. The modern scientists, philosophers, they say that after finishing this body, we no more exist, finish, everything is finished. This is not new. In only time also there were atheists like Charvat Muni. He also said like that. Bhasmi Bhutasya Dehasya Puno Kuta Puno Rāgamana Bhavet. Now why you are worrying about next life? As soon as this body is burnt into ashes, everything is burnt. According to Vedic uh, prudent ritualistic ceremony, the body is burnt. There are three uh, ends of the body. Either to become stool, or to become ashes, or to become art. Those who are bearing the body, just like the Christian Mahavadam too, the body becomes art. Everything. From the earth it has come up. Dust thou art, dust thou beest. This beautiful body, nice body, will become earth. And those who are burning, so that body will become ashes. And those who throw the body to be eaten by jackals and crow, they become stool. This is the end of the body. We are taking so much care of this body. But the ultimate end of this body is either stool, earth, or ashes. <coughs> so foolish person who are in the bodily concept of life, they are thinking, after all this body will be finished. For so long the body is there, senses are there, let us enjoy. Why so much restriction? No illicit sex, no gambling, no. These are all nonsense. <laughs> Let us enjoy life. This is atheistic life. Foolish life. They do not know. No. The body is not all. This is the first lesson to understand what is spiritual life, what is spiritual knowledge. With all aspects they do not know. Therefore Krishna, first of all, slapped Arjuna, asatyānami sūta staṁ prajñā vādhāṁ You do not know what is the fact in talking like a very learned man. Just try to understand what is true. Natu eva ahamijyāt. First thing is that nāsa, <coughs> We have no nasam. We never die. That will be explained later on how more clearly. We do not die. Nasam. <coughs> At any time. Uh, it's not that. Sometimes we die and sometimes. No. Any time. Jatu. At any time. <coughs> so, that you are Supreme Personality of Godhead. You may not die, but we die. We are ordinary living entities. But Krishna says, nāsa na tāma na aham na tu eva aham jātru nāsa na tāma. Neither you nor I. We never die. So it may be, I am your friend, 
and you are Krishna, therefore the others will die. No! Name is an Adhipa. Neither these, all these people, all these soldiers, <coughs> the kings who have assembled here, uh, they will also not. There is no end. They will never die. So, na chaiva na bhavishyama. It is not that we did not exist in the past and we are existing at present. That is, everyone knows. So in the future, don't think that we may not exist. Na bhavishyama. It is not that we shall not exist in the future. Na bhavishyama not exist. And you see, another not. Two nots makes one yes. Two negative makes one positive. So therefore, you have two negative. No chaiva, no bhavishyam. No bhavishyam means not to exist in the future. That is not. That means we shall exist. No chaiva, no bhavishyam. Survey all of us. All of you. Not that I am because I am God, because you are my friend, God's friend, and all others. No, everyone. Oh. This is knowledge. In the Kato Upanishad there is the verse. Uh, nitya nityanam. Nitya nityanam. Nityanam means ever existing. Nitya means ever. Always. So, either Krishna or we, uh, every one of us are ever existing, uh, because we are part and parcel of Krishna. Therefore, if Krishna is ever existing, so we are also very A particular goal is gold, qualitatively. Uh, the value of gold mine and the gold earring may be different. Gold earring may be, say, hundred dollars, but gold mine, millions of dollars. But both of them are gold, not that it is iron, therefore less value, no. A small quantity. Krishna is the Supreme Spirit person. He is all-pervading, everywhere He is present. He is so expansive. We are simply, we are also all pervading, but within this body. That's all. Krishna is all pervading me throughout the whole creation. Krishna all pervading. And we are also all pervading only in this body. You are all pervading within your body. I know the pains and pleasure of my body. You know the pains and pleasure of your body. So, all parting means within this body. If I pinch anywhere, I feel pain. But you will not feel. If I pinch my body, I will feel pain. You will not feel. Therefore, you are not all pervading, I am not all pervading. Uh, but Krishna is all pervading. When I feel pain, Krishna knows it. I know everything. That is Krishna. Try to understand distinction between Krishna and us. He is all part. But He is nitya, ever existing, we are also ever existing. Nitya, nitya, nam, chitana, chitana, nam. We have got knowledge, Krishna has got knowledge. But we have got limited knowledge. Krishna has got unlimited knowledge. That is the difference. Krishna is also cognizant. He also has knowledge. Nitya nityanam chitana chitana nam. Then where is the difference between Krishna and us? Yes, there is difference. What is that? That Krishna, singular number, nitya nityana. Nityanam, this is plural number. Chitana, Chitanana. Chitanam, this is plural number. So there is one person, singular number. 
as I have said, Pura Brahman, we jivas. Oh. <coughs> Anantaya Karpati, jivas, oh, that is described the dimension of the jiva. I have several times explained. Kesagra Satavada Sas Satadha Kalpita Satya. First of all, divide the tip of the hair into uh, hundred parts. Then take another one of the parts, one hundred parts. Again divide into hundred parts. That is small, less than atom, that is the magnitude of the ego. And they are anantaya kalpate. There is no limit. There is no limit. How many living entities are there? If you search out, uh, after passing stool, if you search out stool, you will find millions of living entities, germs. Even from the hole of your room, there is small hole, and there are ants, uh, hundreds and thousands will come out. So similarly, within the hole, within the earth, within the air, within the fire even, there are germs and fires, worms in the fire. This is as they do not know. They simply think. Because nitya, nitya means about existing, so in the fire the living entity does not die. They sterilize. Now it is sterilized. That is all wrong. Sterilized means the body is killed. Not this. That is the abortion. The body is killed. Contrast the body is killed. But the soul is not killed. If you make some inconvenience to the soul who has taken shelter in the womb and you kill the body, then he will have to search out another body. This is going on. Just see how much rascal civilization is going on. They are thinking they kill you. This way kill, that way kill. No. You, this is sinful because you create inconvenience to that particular soul. Uh, you are taking shelter. Karmanāda yunatrena viha uhovati. By his karma, he has been given shelter to develop a body. And if you kill that body, that means you go against the order of the Supreme, Daivanetri. Suppose you are destined to occupy some room and somebody does not allow you to enter the room. Is it not criminal? Is it criminal? Unlawful detention, unlawful. In Allah, even in the state. Similarly, a living entity is developing one body, and if you kill that, you become immediately criminal, punishable. And the living entity who is checked to develop the body, he is put into inconvenience. He is also sinful. He is also sinful. Therefore, it may be simply he is wandering from one womb to another, one womb to another, one womb to another, because he committed that sinful activity, aversion. Now the man who causes this aversion, he also being punished that you will never see the light of this world. You will simply we have to leave one womb to another, one womb to another. What? So nature's punishment is like that. But these foolish people, they do not know. Nitya nityana. So every living entity is nitya. And Krishna is nitya. His singular number, we are two. That is the difference. We are many, Krishna is one. There cannot be many Krishna. But there are many living entities. So what is the difference between the similar number? Uh, that is also stated here. Eka bhunam jo vidudhati kāvān. This one singular number is supplying all the necessities of this plural number. Is it not fact? 
we are very much disturbed over population. That is all nonsense. Krishna is quite able. If there is overpopulation, there cannot be over, over, overpopulation because there are already uh, ananta, ananta living entities. Why do you speak of overpopulation? It is already there, oh, you cannot count. Uh, there is no question of There are already overpopulation. And they can be uh, provided by Krishna. Ekaju bahuna ambedhati Krishna is not limited. He is also unlimited. He can provide unlimited living entities. There is no scarcity of food. So this theory, the upper population, is nonsense. Is also nonsense. There cannot be upper population. But there is restriction by nature. Nature will restrict production of food if there are demons. Nature will not provide the demons. You will find in the Srimad Bhagavatam, fourth canto. Nature is quite prepared to supply all the food. But as soon as there are number of demons, because the whole plan is to correct. Just like the criminals are sent to the prison house for being corrected. So that they may not again commit criminals. That is the purpose of. Similarly, we are all criminals who are in this material world. The purpose is to be correct. We wanted to imitate Krishna, to become Krishna, and therefore we violated the orders of Krishna. That criminality means material life. Krishna bhulya jiva bhogavan chakare pasate mayatare japatiyata. This is māyā. Uh, this material world, māyā, this body is false, māyā. So we have to accept this body because we wanted to enjoy. So enjoy, you enjoy with this body, particular body, either human body or dog's body or cat's body or demigod's body. You get, as you desire, you get a material body and enjoy. This is material life. Uh, so Krishna also, although in the material life, Krishna providing all necessities of life. Uh, Duly there is seasonal changes, you get seasonal fruits, flowers, grains, and all necessities. Uh, it is still given chance, especially to the human being, that you get all supplies, necessities. Ekaju bahunam vidyadhi all necessities. But again, you revive your consciousness, Krishna consciousness. That is the plan. But if you do not revive your Krishna consciousness, if you simply enjoy the senses, then there will be restriction of supply. This is <coughs> That is restriction of supply. Therefore, there will be no rain. And if there is no rain, what factory will do? You will ask. Uh, you can manufacture uh, scissors and knives and uh, buckets of uh, plastic, but you cannot prepare rice and food. That is not possible, sir. That will depend on rain. So immediately rains will be restricted. Uh, now you all chew all this kākār. Uh, what is this kākār? This stone, particle, what I call it. In, in Hindi it is called kākāl, Indian. Uh, <coughs> pebbles? Pebbles, big, small, small. sand, sand. Yes. Yeah. So you can eat that. When <laughs> there is no rain, uh, that is also eatable. Uh, the peacocks they eat, the pigeons they eat, yes. Uh, they, they can eat. Uh, you have seen the eating? So everything is eatable. Uh, so uh, there is no question of overpopulation. Overpopulation is already there. Anuntaya kalpate. So why do you call overpopulation? Uh, when there is already fire, why do you say there will be fire? It is already there. Uh, so but the restriction, 
ಸಿಂಪು and without krishna consciousness they they will be put into difficulties they will be dying within the home they will be killed within the home there will be war there will be pestilence there will be famine there will be earthquake in so many ways we have to die again take what bhutta bhutta pali jate this business will go and ultimately when the whole universe is annihilated then again he takes shelter in the body of mahavishnu and leave for in that way uh, without any body for many millions of years again there is creation and there again given chance or like take another chance be krishna conscious so this is material creation bhukta bhukta paliyate uh, as we have got this body we have got this chance Now to become Krishna conscious, and if we miss, then I do not know where I am going next life. Huh? But I am not going to die. That's a fact. Huh? That will be explained in the next. Time. I am not going to die. Huh? So we existed in the past. We are now existing at present, and we shall continue to exist in the future. This is the thing. but how we shall exist what kind of body as a demigods body a dog's body a tree's body a fish's body that will depend on my work uh, or we go back to home back to god and krishna like we get the spiritual body like krishna uh, everything is possible so it is our business to see what kind of body we shall get next life ತಕ್ತಾದೇಹಂ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮ ನೈತಿ ಮಾಮೀತಿ ಕೌಂತು ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಸಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಮೋರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಎನಿ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೊ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುಯಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ देयर ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಸೋಲ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುಯಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆವರ್ ವ್ಯಾಂಕ್ವಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನೌ and it will continue to exist in the future because people may say how is that how uh, all think krishna is speaking huh? that natu eva hang jatu nasang natang ni janati is actually we died uh, maybe uh, we have taken birth again but everyone dies how is that that we do not die uh, there no it is not the body but the krishna is speaking about the soul soul is ever existing it existed in the past it is existing now and it will exist maybe different type of body that is krishna is instructing <coughs> the other thing is yeah uh, the mahavadi philosopher says that uh, we are one uh, there is no you and me ever one so then krishna is defective if krishna says you me all others so it is not one it is not homogeneous we are all individuals you are individual i am individual and all the kings and soldiers they are all individuals so the mahavadi theory that after liberation uh, everyone becomes one one lump sum Is that homogeneous uh, spirit? No. Then Krishna is false. In Mahavadi theory, accepted 
that we become one, lump sum. Then Krishna's theory, not theory, Krishna's actual knowledge, then it becomes false. And if Krishna speaks false, something defective, then where is the use of reading Bhagavad Gita? Why should we read Bhagavad Gita, which is spoken by a person who is defective? No, that's enough. What Krishna is speaking, that is fact. That is fact. Otherwise, why Bhagavad Gita is given so important? The Mahavadi philosophers, they try to interpret in a different way. I mean this, you mean that, some. These Mahavadi philosophers, Vimukta Mani, I am now become liberated. Now I am one with the Supreme. That is Vimukta Mani. I mean, they are thinking like that as a rascal. Actually, it is. It cannot be mixed up. Uh-huh. Everything is individual. But that thinking, therefore, this word is used. Vimukta manina. Manina means falsely thinking. Jinnir vinda ko vimukta mana manina. Tai asthabhava. Why they are thinking? Because they are not devotee. Uh-huh. They do not think that there is another God worshipable. We are all God now. We are mixed up. That is manina. So these Mahavadis, uh, when they think that among the Mahavadi sannyasi, the address is Namo Narayana. That means everyone is thinking that I have already become Narayana. Uh, although they are breaking in the street, uh, therefore uh, still they are thinking that each of them has become Narayana. Uh, and our Vivekananda Sami, he thought, if actually you have Narayana, why you are begging? Therefore he gave a new name, Daridra Narayana, poor Narayana. And if you say poor Narayana, then there is another rich Narayana, so there will be duality, how you support your money. As soon as you say Daridra Narayana, so there is rich Narayana also, so there immediately uh, it becomes more, uh, very Daitava. So there are so many defects in their philosophy. Therefore, Bhagavad says that vimukta manina, falsely thinking they have become liberated. Why? Tai astabhava, because they have no information of your lotus feet. So, what is the result? Na arudya kritchena paranga padam They undergo severe penances and austerities. Uh, actually, Mahabadi Sannyasi, they observe. Uh, they do not use any bed. They lie down. That is the stricture of Shankar Sampradaya Sannyasi. Simply on the floor, uh, three times must take bath. Uh, so many strict regulations. And actually, they, some of them follow. At what you are following? You have given so much religions. So, Arudya Krishna, after undergoing so severe austerities of life, uh, they approach that they mix or they approach the impersonal effulgence. Just like if you, uh, the Sputnik, you are, but what is that Sputnik? You remain on the sky. Uh, and as soon as you are tired, again come back. As soon as you are tired. Otherwise, why they are coming back? Uh, but, 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 go round. But so long you do not get a shelter, you have to come back. Similarly, these Mahavadis, they mix with the effulgence, Krishna's, Brahma Jyoti. But because there is no, there is only existence, but there is no blissfulness of life. Uh, the simply existence will not. Suppose if I live for thousands of years, but I have no society, is that very Good condition of life? No. Suppose somebody gives me blessing that we will live for thousands of years, but no company, sir. Shall I accept it? Uh, this is not possible. Therefore, even though these Mahavadis, they approach, they approach actually. Arujya Krishna Parampadam. Parampadam means the impersonal Brahma Jyoti. Arujya Krishna Parampadam Tataha. Patanti Adha. So, why they fall down? Anadita Jusmat Angraya. 
because they have neglected your lotus feet. Neglect. They do not know that there is Vaikuntha Loka, there is Goloka Vrindama, there is Krishna, there is service of Krishna. These things are unknown to them. On account of this, they fall down. So, the Sadhujya Mukti, to become one with the Fargans, is a false theory, or even if you mix for some time, because there is simply eternity. But we are being part and parcel of Krishna. We are also possessed the three transcendental qualities, Sat, Chit, Ananda. As Krishna is Satchitananda Vigraha, we are spiritually also Satchitananda Vigraha, but not exactly like Krishna. Therefore, our Sat, eternity, sometimes become disturbed by falling down on this material world. But we are seeking ānanda, pleasure in this material body, we are never happy. Thank you. Hare Krishna.